the AD1490 is already the significant and faster than the AD1390 Ti and Nvidia is already preparing to announce the AD1490 Ti it may have 18,176 CUDA cores or 11% more than the RTX 1490 with 16,384 CUDA cores The RTX 1490 Ti has 192 ROPs or Render Output Units compared to the RTX 1490 with 176 ROPs it also has 568 texture mapping units or TMUs while the RTX 1490 has 512 TMUs The core base clock is slightly higher at 2355 MHz and push clock at 2625 MHz Compared to the RTX 1490 with base clock of 2235 MHz and push clock of 2520 MHz. The memory clock is at 1500 MHz, higher than the RTX 1490 at 1333 MHz. Based on the power ups estimation, the performance of the RTX 1490 Ti will be around 15% higher than the RTX 1490, but still have the same. 24GB of GDDR6X VRAM However, due to the higher memory clock, the RTX 1490 Ti delivered 1152GB per second of data throughput compared to the RTX 1490 at 1008GB per second The RTX 1490 has TDP of 450 watts and transient spike of up to 1350 watts. The RTX 1490 Ti will have a TDP of 600 watts, which requires 1000 watt PSU. This is the maximum voltage supported by the 12 VHPWR port, which may raise another concern of possible melted power connectors. The RT1490 is sold at $1,599 and the RT1490 Ti could be substantially more expensive at around $2,000. In conclusion, the remote release of the RT1490 Ti is expected to bring a significant performance boost to the graphic card market, with a reported 15% increase in speed compared to the RT1490. Gamers and content creators alike are eager to see what this new hardware can deliver. The increased speed and power will allow for even more investor gaming experience, and the ability to tackle more demanding creative projects with ease. Stay tuned for further updates on the RTX 1490 Ti. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next videos.